would like to thank AUDRN for supporting our project. In this paper, we present to you our work in progress on the documentation of traditional Philippine arts for heritage transmission through digital media. As you can see, we have enhanced our title. We aim to help reorder the perspective of students by identifying traditional arts, traditional Filipino arts as the foundation of Filipino art. It is our hope that this will provide them with a well-rounded take-off point for artistic development and innovation, as well as a sense of connection with the community. For this part of the project, our main objective is to initiate the creation of a digital library of traditional Filipino arts and associated, associated local terms in the forms of compiled TFA tracers and other materials, which can be accessed as learning resources as, uh, by teachers of art and design and other courses. Initially, within the university during the first phase, and to eventually make possible the sharing of the learning resources with other academic institutions. But first, what do we mean by traditional art? As Professor Felipe de Leon observes, traditional art is used interchangeably with applied art, utilitarian art, folk art or primitive art, in contrast to fine arts. Among these terms, folk art appears to be used more often as evidenced by currently available literature in this category of the arts. To set the discussion in the Philippine context, we will refer to the following definitions offered by Professor Norma Respicio. Folk art refers to art that is produced in local informal setting and depicts a fusion of an art practiced by a cultural group and its various influences. And traditional art refers to arts that have been practiced for at least three generations, including art forms from the pre-colonial and colonial periods, actively practiced by local artists and craftsmen, and passed on to other practitioners. Um, um, Professor Espicio um, anticipated that the use of the word tradition may be found to be contentious. So she explains that while tradition connotes something old and passé, it does not always have to be so. Tradition can refer to something that endures even as its form evolves and undergoes changes. We initiated this effort with a qualitative phenomenological study with a central question. Why and how should the learning of traditional Filipino arts be integrated in art and design education. We searched for answers through consultation with experts in art and design, art studies, uh, cultural heritage studies, and anthropology. We conducted an in-service teacher training for artist teachers. With, the, with their students, they engaged in situated learning with local art <coughs> practitioners through a visiting artist project. Um, we devised a format which we call the TFA Tracer, which participants use to record information about an art form and its maker. To assess learning and change in the cultural constructs of students, we made use of the personal <coughs> meaning mapping for our pre-tests and post-tests. According to Adams, Falk, and Darking, the major insight of PMM is that quality learning changes people. The better the experience, the greater the change. In the second semester of the school year, three classes engaged in the Kangbayan activities. We have received the PMM assessment of at least 40 students. The rest have yet to be processed. The art forms we explored included the beadwork Rabalori of Pateros, palm leaf art, which is called Panaspas in Pateros, and Puni in Malolos, Bulacan, bamboo shaving, which is called Bulacaykay in Rizal, and Kayas Kayas in Bulacan, fruit carving or Burdas Adayak, 
and pastillas wrapper making or pabalat in San Miguel and Malolos, Pilacan. We also learned how to make the local paper mache or taka in Paite, Laguna. In Baguio City, three teachers learned how to weave rattan over a rice wine bottle in place of the traditional clay pot or banga. We also observed how the, the sleeping mat or banig woven out of pandan leaves in, source, uh, leaves in Sorsogon. We learned of the distinction between paghahabi and paglalala. Next week, we will learn how to make the tabungaw, the tabungaw hat, which is made of gold, or as we call it locally, pupo, from Mr. Angel Padron of Pakara, Ilocos Norte. The process is really learning by doing. We also hold an annual exhibit of the output of our participants, which consists of traditional artists, our artist teachers, and their students. Um, it is a joint undertaking of the College of Fine Arts and Design and the UST Museum. The UST Likang Bayan is now on its fifth year. All these activities allowed us to gather materials in various forms for a digital library. My co-artist teacher, Ms. Zacarias, will present them to you in a little while. Our plan is to offer and share our learning resources with other schools, as for example, Far Eastern University, which has courses in art and design, and National Teachers College and La Consolation College, where there are student teachers. We still need to arrange for an actual personal engagement between the craftsmen, the artist teachers, and the learners. However, our digital materials will be a supplementary learning resource that will hopefully sustain the interest of the learners. We are quite eager to share ideas and learning resources with other schools, although as of the moment, our university does not allow access to social networks. So we upload our materials in venues outside of the university. There are signs, however, that this could change very soon. We would assume that the same is true for other academic institutions, seeing that there is a trend of an increasing use of social networks for educational purposes. Because its nature runs counter in many ways to the present paradigm of teaching and learning in art, the learning of traditional arts in schools requires a more radical approach. Um, this makes it all, um, the use of digital resources makes it all the more challenging and intriguing. Uh, the use of social networks such as Facebook and WordPress reinforces the, cons the constructivist notion that learning is a social activity. It enables us to meet our target learners where they spend much of their time. It offers the advantage of a familiar and user-friendly format for learners. It also allows us to disseminate information faster to more people. However, it also presents additional requirements such as the need for teachers to retool in terms of technical skills, to have access to a computer with an internet connection, to learn how to edit materials so that the presentation will have a good continuous flow. It requires a rethinking of how we facilitate learning. We acknowledge traditional arts as a resource for education and accept traditional knowledge as a resource for development. Now we have to learn to use the digital media as tools for facilitating learning. To sustain this project, we recommend that a study be conducted on setting ethical parameters on the use of social networks as extension of the classroom. There is also a need to know how educators can appropriately, how educators can appropriately respond to the needs of learners through social networks and how a wider access to these resources can be facilitated by teachers and their educational institutions. 
um, before Ms. Zacarias presents her uh, part of the project, um, these are our references. Thank you very much. Good afternoon, everybody, ladies and gentlemen. Um, let me continue with the uh, presentation of uh, the USDD Kambayan project. Okay. The intention, as what was said earlier by Dr. Loza, the intention of the USDD Kambayan study is to introduce a digital library of traditional Filipino arts and associated local, local terms through a compilation of TFA tracers or traditional Filipino art tracers lectures on TFA and other related activities, which can be a source of information for teachers of art and design and other courses. Dissemination of information will start with, um, initially within the university and eventually make the sharing of the learning resource with other academic institutions. So shown here in the first slide are some samples of TFA or traditional Filipino arts that we have been documenting, like the Puni or palm leaf art. We also have a Valorio or bead art, and uh, Babalat, which is uh, which are Japanese paper uh, with cut out designs that are used to package our um, new local milk candy called astilias. As a means of uh, for classifying information, art forms were documented using the TFA tracers shown here. A simple format for recording information about traditional art forms, their makers, um, and the local terms used for the art materials, tools, and procedures. Uh, soft copies of the format then are uh, circulated to the artist teachers and to the students so that they can complete the forms. Um, the sample here is a tracer of the taka or the local paper mache. Entries on the TFA tracers consist of descriptions and photos of art craft making procedures as well as information about local craft practitioners. At this stage, word processing softwares like Microsoft Word or Microsoft Publisher, um, electronic mail and mobile technologies like Digicams and video cameras were used in order to build our data bank. As I, I mentioned earlier, we will start with um, dissemination of information within the university. Uh, we do that by, um, so the resulting digital library is intended to facilitate the sharing of learning resources on traditional arts. The information is first made available to the USC Electronic Blackboard, or as we Tomashians know as the USD Elite, or the e-learning access program for interdepartment sharing of the learning resource. Initially, um, by the way, um, all the faculty, students, uh, administrators, and even support staff have accounts in the ELIP, uh, in the USD ELIP. So the uh, information is first made available um, through the My Community tab, where, uh, as you can see, the Likang Bayan is already available. Um, but uh, and then the Likang Bayan group will be available also for access at the My Community tab and the My Courses tab. Yeah. So, the TFA learning resources are also meant to be a component of some of the subjects for the College of Fine Arts and Design uh, under the four different majors, painting, industrial design, interior design, and advertising arts. Um, it will be made available for students through the My Courses tab, as I said earlier. Um, after the dissemination of information within the university, um, the group will also extend information sharing outside the campus. Uh, we plan to do this through visits to schools, or we may also invite some of the uh, artist teachers or students to our school. <coughs> Um, in order to share with them the demonstrations and lectures that we have learned. Uh, and also, through, of course, through digital media. Uh, through websites like WordPress, social networking sites like Facebook, and video sharing sites like YouTube. Uh, for WordPress, 
um, being a blog tool and a blog publishing platform, uh, he here you will find the TFA tracers or the traditional Filipino art tracers, uh, the demonstration and lecture photos and videos, and information about other related activities. Um, in short, the WordPress site is a complete information portal of the group UST Likambayan. You can find us at www.ustlikambayan.wordpress.com. Uh, um, okay. And of course, we have Facebook. Being the social media that it is, uh, we would like to utilize this site because of its popularity. We, uh, here in Facebook, we will cover announcements, link sharing, discussions, forum, photos, and videos. Facebook will also be our means to invite other groups to learn more about our project. All three platforms, or um, yeah, all three platforms, allow users to ask questions and to make comments and suggestions. Allow interaction among the participants in the activities organized by the group. We are aware that there are other platforms or applications that are very similar to all to these to these three that I mentioned, but we chose them simply because they are familiar, simple, and accessible to both senders and receivers of information. At present, the efforts in making all the information about TFA available within and outside USD also face various challenges. First, the task that takes much work is the transcription of interviews that we make, and also the editing of photos and videos in order to make comprehensive presentation for the receivers. In addition to this, downloading, uploading, and optimizing files um, also require a capable mainframe or a powerful CPU, fast internet connection, and tons of time and patience. After dealing with the above mentioned ordeals, acknowledging references, citing sources, and copyright issues would also have to be dealt with. Putting all those tough essentials aside, the, the group still aims and aspires to help establish the place of traditional Filipino arts as a resource for education and local knowledge as a channel for development with digital media as a means for propagation. And with that, I'd like to end. We'd like to thank you for letting us uh, share um, our knowledge and more information about USD Combine. Thank you very much. Filipino art is uh, very oh, important also in the. Uh, I think the voice is not so loud. <laughs> yeah, very interesting uh, study, but um, I also see the importance of uh, generating the idea of the Filipino art as also part of uh, forming our own identity, no? Uh, in terms of or in the fields of art, but uh, I, I was also listening in the definition of terms, and I was waiting for the Filipino art. Uh, my question is, what constitutes, uh, or what cons constitutes Filipino art? Uh, do they, uh, is art, Filipino art, because it was done or created by a Filipino? Or what, uh, I don't know. What constitutes the Filipino art? Uh, sir, the definition of traditional Filipino arts is part of the of the whole package of the definition of Filipino art as a whole. Um, traditional arts is part of Filipino art. Um, also, um, of course, it, it, it is made by a Filipino, but uh, may, uh, with Western influence, it influence, it is still Filipino because of the maker. Um, so for us to define Filipino art, Actually, we have this whole chart of a co very complicated chart, which is of course uh, which of course raises issues also, no? and it is not in fact accepted by all uh, people, no? by everyone who listens to us. But um, for us, Filipino art is root. That's why we would like to establish traditional Filipino arts as the basis or the foundation of Filipino art itself, because as we know, uh, if well, art and design, you come into the College of Art and Design and you you meet Western art at the very first year, the very first class you have. So that's why we have this trust. Um, 
we're trying to change the perspective of people to and uh, increasing knowledge about traditional arts so that we can find the true meaning of traditional art of traditional of Filipino art. So I'm sorry that I cannot give you a very concrete answer because we're still on the way. We're in progress. No? It's a work in progress. Thank you. Thank you very much, ma'am, for that uh, answer. Sir, you have a question? Uh, sir, we went to uh, Marawi City because uh, um, I think UNESCO wants to uh, identify this small place in Marawi as a, you know, as a place that generates uh, Filipino art and uh, for its craftsmanship somewhere in Marawi. Um, we had to spend just very, uh, very little time there because it was, it's dangerous ground. So, <laughs> but <laughs> we really plan to go back. In fact, in fact, sir, let me tell you a small story. When we were there. This, uh, when we left that place, after a year that mayor uh, lost his life, so <laughs> the mayor of the place where we went to in Marawi. But, but uh, with, the, with the Center of, uh, for Cultural, uh, cultural uh, the Preservation of Cultural uh, um, CCC Pet, there's this office in uh, USD that uh, you know, sponsors such activities. And we still plan to go to Mindanao. We have to go back because we're interested with uh, uh, the colorful mats of Tawi Tawi. As far as that place. Is yes, there a follow up question? And uh, if I may suggest, yes, sir. We try to visit as well the uh, Mindanao Library because we have to know uh, as a consortium, we are uh, actually, well, we have a convention of the Thank you very much. <coughs> Mindanao Libraries. Mindanao. Mindanao. Thank you very much. Okay, yes, sir. One last question. Yes, sir. Microphone, please. Please introduce yourself briefly. Okay, um, good afternoon. Uh, there is a person, I think, a Filipino in Cebu, who is manufacturing uh, furniture that are very expensive. That went, uh, I think, uh, as far as the United States. You're talking uh, about Mr. Kobonpoy, are you? Uh, yes. Yes. Uh, okay. So, they are actually making furniture that are made from uh, ethnic materials. Yes, sir, indigenous and, materials. Yes. And they call this, uh, these are actually variations. So, are this considered as uh, Filipino arts, even though yes, we are, uh, yes, sir, but with a Western influence, right? <laughs> yes, sir. Thank you. All right, uh, thank you very much, Dr. Loza and Mr. Gaius from the University of Santa Barbara.